We had a clear winner here pull away. We are all on the couch. Are you ladies ready to do this? Yeah, this is the first time I'm hearing this organically, so I am very excited. All right, a big thank you to everyone who voted at home to name this beautiful dog with 854 of the more than 1,800 votes from all around the world. Drum roll. Our Fox 61 Needs puppy is Mystic. <laughs> Congratulations! Yay, oh, Rachel, what do, you, what do you think, Rachel? You know, I, I talked to a lot of folks in our newsroom as well, and the consensus was that Mystic was a very fitting name. And after meeting her and getting to know her, although I was, you know, on Team Bradley, <laughs> I think Mystic is a very good name for her. We will still get her to Bradley. Erica, she is just beautiful. She is perfect. Now, Mystic, she's got a big change for her coming up. She's making a move, right? At just eight weeks old? Yes, so um, this Sunday she's heading out with her volunteer weekend puppy raiser. So this is a member of the public who is going to help her learn her basic obedience, things like sit down, stay. And then they'll also start socializing her out in public. So starting out with libraries, quiet parks, moving up to grocery stores. And we kind of say our big final field trip that we like the dogs to go on is going to um, the airport. Mm. Kate, we were able to sponsor this puppy through the generosity of our Fox 61 team, our parent company, Tegna, a $5,000 donation through our Tegna Foundation program. I know you're appreciative. Speak to us as to how that money will, will really do some good. Yeah, so at Needs, we run on donations, either from individuals or foundations. So we really can't fulfill our mission without that support. So this donation um, means a lot to us. It allows us to continue our work. Um, and it will go towards helping this little lady get matched with a client someday. And you had mentioned, you know, the work that you are doing and those clients. Talk a little bit about where she is going and kind of her journey over the course of after she kind of graduates. Yeah, so the training uh, is very similar for all of our dogs. Uh, like I said, she will go with her volunteer puppy raiser. At about 16 to 18 months of age, she will move into final task training. This is where she she learns things like opening a refrigerator door, turning on a light switch, fetching items, um, and ultimately will be matched with someone either who is deaf or hard of hearing, has physical disabilities, um, maybe a child with autism or other developmental disabilities. Um, so we do serve a wide range of clients. And it really takes a team to make this happen. So many things have to come together. A lot of people are wondering though, what do they have to do to be in a position where you are? Because some people are watching and saying, to work with these animals, it's really a dream job. Yes, it is an awesome, very rewarding job to be able to work with these animals. So for people who are getting, who are interested in getting involved, I would say start um, volunteering at an animal shelter, some other animal program. All right, so wonderful, Mystic. It is so Mystic. great that you have your name. We can't wait to follow your progress over the next two years. Good stuff. Thank you to everybody who voted. Tim, I will send it back to you. More than 1,800 votes from all around the world.